Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today we're going to look at a very cool technique for applying colors differently in your images. So let's get straight into it. Here I have an image of the famous Mesa Arch and let's say I want to apply some warmth to the foreground here. Usually we can open up a photo filter and choose whichever warming filter we want and increase the density to increase the strength of that filter. But when we do that, our foreground may become warmer, but other parts of our image look a little bit unnatural, like the sky's turned a purple kind of colour here, rather than being a natural blue. And I think the highlights here look a little bit strange, they should be much whiter. Now we can apply this warmth in a much more natural manner by opening up a new layer and dragging it down here, choosing Edit, Fill, and making sure we have 50% grey checked here, and we just press OK. Now we change the blend mode of this layer to soft light. We select the photo filter layer. We right click on it and choose create clipping mask. Now you'll see we've applied warmth to the foreground just as before, but we haven't affected the highlights or the blue areas. So we've applied the warmth a little bit more naturally. And I'm exaggerating the warmth here for you to see. I wouldn't usually go this warm. Um, but we can just push the slider up and down and it's only affecting the mid-tones in our area and not the shadows or the highlights. So it's much more natural. Another cool way we can use this is if we have a cityscape like this and we want to inject some blues into the shadows, which sometimes gives it kind of a cool futuristic look, we can open a new layer just as before and change that to soft light. And we'll make it a 50% grey layer. Now we can open up our photo filter and change it to blue and we can increase the strength as we like. Now I'm just going to create a clipping mask just as before but this time we've chosen soft light on this particular layer but actually to inject blues into the shadows we should change it to hard light and you can see now we have these blues all in our image and in our shadows and we just bring the opacity of this layer down until we're happy. And this is the before and after. It's a very cool and almost cinematic change. And to show you what it would look like without the clipping mask, there's the before and after. And we'll make this invisible. There's the before and after there. So it's a much bigger improvement using this clipping mask on a 50% grey layer to inject the colours into the shadows. And for Raya Pro users, this is actually the same technique that we use in the Orton effect. When we look at our Orton effect, we have Orton effect 1, 2, Orton effect warm and cold. And for the warm and cold layers, we run the Orton effect and we choose the magical feel in our image. And we press OK. And when the Orton effect's been applied, we can bring down the opacity and this is our layer, which adds warmth much more naturally. You can see the blue sky and the highlights there still look very natural and very clean. And the same can happen with the cold Orton effect that we have in Raya Pro. So if I just open up Raya Pro, choose Orton effect cold and choose a very small Orton effect because this is a small file, press OK. Now we can open up our Orton effect cold and choose hard light. And so we've got our Orton effect still. I can just lower this slightly. But we've got blues in the shadows just as before. So that was a very quick tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to sharing more with you next time.